Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Lindman. Uh, I'm at the annual meeting of the American Association of Gynecologic Laparoscopists in Washington, D.C. And I thought I would go over some of the most frequently asked questions uh, that I have on my website on fibroids. Now, most commonly we have inquiries saying, what should I do based on really lack of diagnosis or symptoms or someone on a bulletin board says I have that and you think you're the same. So the first thing we need to know is what you really have. Uh, in order to do that you need to see a competent gynecologist, very likely get an ultrasound or MRI. Frequently I find that MRIs or especially ultrasounds are really not read accurately so it's important to make sure whoever's reading the ultrasound and MRI is familiar with GYN diseases. The question is, do you know anybody in town who can do this? Well, it's very hard for one doctor to evaluate another doctor without actually seeing them operate, which is why it's difficult to refer to other than a few colleagues around the country with whom you've worked. Another question is, um, I'm bleeding, what, is my doctor okay? Well, there's no way of evaluating that. We need to see a competent gynecologist so that you can be evaluated. Now when I get an email that says someone is considering seeing me, the first thing I want to know is some history. What is the major problem? Bleeding, pain, do you want to have pregnant uh, babies later? Do you want to become pregnant or don't you? Want to know the age. So what might be appropriate for someone who's 25 may be totally inappropriate for someone who's 50 and vice versa. Um, is there any thing that's potentially dangerous or cancer. Recently someone came in wanting an endometrial ablation. She brought her biopsy report which showed cancer. That's not an appropriate procedure. So those are the things that I'm interested in seeing. We'll evaluate the ultrasound or MRI and if we can see what we need to see it may be possible to at least assess whether that patient is, can be helped or whether they're on the right track. On the other hand, there is no substitute to putting on the hands. Evaluating records is very much like reading the review of the movie in the newspaper. You get a paragraph on it which is the opinion of the reviewer. Now, that may or may not have anything to do which, with what's really happening, which is why there is no way to consult about an individual person's problem without actual, actually seeing the real person. Thank you very much.